Here in New York City, rent is too darn expensive, but I've also got family in Texas. And in Texas, housing is a serious issue that's been kind of gotten worse by the COVID pandemic. So the state bill is out there now to kind of ban what's called local tenant protections. And that could make the housing situation worse for low income workers. This bill puts like vulnerable renters at bigger and a greater risk of eviction and homelessness, but it can also hamper the efforts of like grassroots organizations and folks who are fighting for fair housing policies in Texas. So the pandemic, like it's made this issue of housing insecurity really important for all of us. The pandemic's left a lot of people struggling to pay for rent because they lost their job. They've got fewer working hours. They've had other problems. And in Texas, eviction rates were already high before the pandemic. Now the situation's worse. What is that? Now, the state already had the highest eviction rate in the country back in 2020. This new proposed bill is going to try to ban local tenant protections. That makes it easier for landlords to evict tenants. That puts vulnerable renters like low-income families, the elderly, people with disabilities at a greater risk of homelessness. It also reduces the ability of local governments to kind of protect their rental market. It makes it harder for them to protect their re rent residents from like pretty bad landlords. And it makes it harder for grassroots organizations who are fighting for fair housing policies. Think of churches. These organizations have been working to increase tenant protections and create affordable housing, make sure that everybody has access to safe and stable housing. But if you ban all that stuff, state government kind of undermines all the work that they've done. It makes it harder for them to make progress. So you kind of got to recognize that housing is a basic human right for all of us, not just a commodity that we have to be bought and sold for profit. Although I make a lot of money doing that, but everybody deserves access to safe and affordable housing. So you got to pay attention to kind of like what's happening in Texas. Think about what's happening with vulnerable renters. In, in New York, we have uh, basically like tenement houses. We have apartments. Those are semi-affordable. Uh, in Texas, you're looking at stuff like RV parks. So if you live in an RV park, you might actually own the recreational vehicle that you're living in, and you'll pay rent to the landlord, the person who owns the land. But if that land goes up in value, the landlord might sell that property. You're forced to move in like a month or two, kind of got to move your trailer. You got to move your RV to a new location, and the rent for that land might not be say $200 a month, it might be a thousand or more. So now your effective rent's increased and a lot of folks might not be able to pay that. They don't have enough notice. It makes it very easy for landlords to make a profit. It makes it very safe and it does stabilize things, but you throw lives into a ton of chaos. So folks do need some sort of protection. Landlords do need to make money. You can't push things too far or you completely mess with the housing market, but it can be very scary if you're living in a recreational vehicle, you have no tenant protections and you're evicted and you have like one month to move out and all of a sudden you can't afford or find a new place to live. That is scary wherever you live. And it's not just Texas and it's not just New York. This is happening all over America. We gotta build more homes.